This is where we spill the tea. I mean, we're here. We're on the Jones Beach Boardwalk. Oh Dee Snyder's God. calling it. Wrap it up. We've been hanging out with the hot teas. The hot teas, by the way, are amazing. Hashtag Long Island, Island Life. Life. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea on all things Long Island life. I'm Kristen. And I'm Sharon. And we are back for another week. Uh, I have to say, uh, we'll start every show <laughs> by saying, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. I just, uh, it's been crazy. I've been like going all over Long Island again. Everything's back. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Like no more Zoom. Everything's in no. person. And I, so I was like, uh, I spoke at this Hampton Bay's Hospitality Academy uh, the other night, and I I love playing our, um, you know, I have this whole presentation of this whole, like, it's hard to tell people in 45 minutes, like, what, what do you, you do? do? We yeah. do everything. Yeah, it's amazing. Exactly. But I love this clip that Alyssa put together of us, and it, where it's you and I going, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Never gets old. And they everybody loves everybody it. Everybody loves and, it. And people were, like, fully signing on, like, subscribing. Oh, I love they were, like, it. I was a bunch of, there was a bunch of people in there that were our demographic, for sure. So if you're a new listener, welcome. Um, but it's just... You know, and then it's just funny because I do this whole presentation and I'm showing our videos and our TikToks and I, like we do so much. Right? Yeah, yeah. We're known as the content beasts. And yes, all that. I love it. And I'm leaving and, and everyone was so complimentary. And the Canoe Place Inn um, COO was there, Michael Broad, who oh, yeah. just love him. That yeah. Canoe Place Inn is going to be a brand new, well, it's actually a completely remodeled hotel. Yeah, it's a historic beautiful. hotel yeah. that they've completely redone you know nuts to bolts from and it's incredible in the hampton bays and it's going to open uh this summer which is so amazing and he's so complimentary and everyone's like oh we love you blah blah, blah. and i'm like on a high and i'm leaving and then the cameraman who was like videotaping the meeting says i'm walking out goes you forgot boating what i'm like what <laughs> when he your mean? presentation there's a lot of boating I'm like, oh. no, we, we show we show boating in the, in the video. video. Show, yeah. But I'm like, this, you know, of course, and that's like, and I, dwell, I dwell on that. Yes. Like, really? You hear that and you, you didn't I'm like, sleep I just, last night. I just sure. gave 45. Anyway, yeah. and then um, what else? And then I was like, uh, NASA Chambers mm -hmm. this morning, the yeah. NASA Alliance of Chambers, which, you know, there's like 60 different chambers, yeah. many lines of chambers. It's crazy. People don't realize we don't have one chamber. We have like 121. 120. Right? Yeah. yeah. In each, there's 60 in each county. And uh, again, one of those things I'm like uh, talking about all we do, and then the first question is like, how do I even find you? I don't even know Discover Long Island. I'm like, well, do, I mean, you just Google Long Island. Yeah, well, I don't the know first what to thing say. That comes like, up. I, what do I say? <laughs> you know. Anyway, but it's mostly mostly positive. Yeah. But then of course, one comment, and I sends me over the edge. Throws and you then, for the round. And then yeah. tonight I'll be at the Long Island Hospitality Association yeah. mixer, and then first thing tomorrow morning is uh, back to Terry with the HIA LI. I loved having Terry on. <sighs> I love her. She, we were just talking about how great she is. And um, I think we were, Susan and I were just talking, and she's just like, she's her voice, because I was all over the board last week. I was like, oh, it's so excited. You yeah, know, we Patrick's were so excited. Day. Exactly. And uh, Terry's like so calm. She was like assertive, but kind. I love her. Every time she spoke, yeah. she just like, she had something really relevant. And she's relevant like that in real life all the time. She's so nice. You know, she's just so everything. Nice. I love her. And her hair is perfect. Yeah. Um, and I've been listening to. She said it doesn't move. <laughs> I wonder if she like that. We were waiting for you to come back, and we were getting ready and putting our headphones on and everything like that. And she's like, "So how does this go?" And I'm like, "I would go behind, you know, like what yeah. we do." And she's like, "Well, my hair doesn't move, Sharon." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like, true. I noticed because I constantly am flicking my hair on. I'm like constantly getting out of my face. And Terry's hair is perfect; mm -hmm. it doesn't move. And I uh, wonder what hairspray she uses. We have to Aquanet, ask. probably. Yeah, exactly. That's like old school, right? She knows. Rain. She, Terry is like, I feel like she's like in the no old school. Mm -hmm. um, but I loved her, and I it was a total love fest. I was like, okay, get a grip, Kristen. But um, but I've been listening to her enough already. Oh, uh, you did? The, the Valerie, Valerie Bertinelli? Bertinelli? Yeah, I, I downloaded it on Audible, and which is awesome, because Valerie Bertinelli is reading it. Oh, I and love it. And she's an actress, so of course I she reads her. it like yeah. with such expression. And uh, and it made me think of what I'm just telling you. Like she's like, you know, why do we dwell on the? We're our own worst criticism, yeah. and we dwell on the one thing mm -hmm. that people say, and they're saying a thousand positive things, and I'll be like the one comment, and then I'm like, I can't, I quit. <laughs> I'm just gonna like go I'm over it. In I don't even know. I'm just gonna walk into the desert and like pitch a tent somewhere and just like <laughs> I don't know what to say. It just makes you want to be like, never yeah. mind. No. I need you. Uh, Long no. Island needs you. It's fun. Everyone's wonderful. <laughs> they are. Everyone is wonderful, but it's what we do. 
It's the yes. Kinder Hall thing. The stories we choose to tell ourselves. And then again, like I think it's everybody, everybody, not just you, everybody has that your own worst critic or, you know, yeah. that type of thing where you ha- hear that one not so yeah. positive comment. It may not be negative, but it's negative to you because yeah. you're like, oh, man, I should have. You know, coulda, woulda, shoulda type yeah. of thing. Oh, well, you'll you'll love this book enough already okay. because it totally reminds me of conversations that you want to have where she's constantly trying to lose 10 pounds. <laughs> yes. She's like, I just, her whole life. <laughs> just want the 10 just, pounds. She's like, it doesn't matter <laughs> if she's 130 pounds yeah. or 170 pounds. Yeah. She's just like, I'm trying to lose 10 pounds. Yeah, I'm like, exactly. Yes, Valerie. <gasps> yeah. Same. And she and she's like, it's so crazy. And uh, funny enough, and we're trying to get her on the show, but um, her mom was a travel agent. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Travel industry. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and then the other thing before, um, we actually have a special guest coming on, uh, Hope Knight with Empire State Development. And I'm so excited because it's Women's History Month. Yeah. And she's uh, just, you know, paving so much ground for women in New York State. Uh, but the other thing is that Terry said that I actually used in a meeting yesterday. We were doing a, a meeting about our social media and TikToks. And I'm like, you know what Terry says? Mm-hmm. Plan the work, then work, work the, the plan. plan. I, I was love like, it. She said that to me. I like and it blew clicked. my mind. Yeah, I texted her. I'm like, this is the this is the title of your book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the work and work the plan. Absolutely. Um, oh, and one more thing before we bring on our guest. Speaking of HIA a lie, which is that the human uh, human uh, the um, Hop Hog Industrial Association that represents the Long Island Innovation Park. Uh, we did have a, like a really notable Long Islander that passed away this week, and I didn't know him. I think he was before my time, but his name was Lee Copelman. Have mm-hmm. you heard of him? It's Yeah, it does sound familiar. But So I, I read about him because uh, he was apparently uh, Suffolk County's first ever uh, planner, like for development. And um, he helped basically plan the, the HIA Industrial oh, wow. Park, as well as the Ronkonkoma Park around um, the airport. Yeah. And, and he also preserved a lot. He worked with the Pine Barrens. So... He was really ahead of his time, I think, because he developed a lot, but at the same time preserved a lot. Right. And so he kind of spearheaded what we know today to be sustainable sustainable development. Mm-hmm. So kind of wanted to just give a shout out. Like, I didn't know of him, but yeah. it's, you know, people do leave legacies. Yeah. And uh, and he passed away at the age of 94. Wow, amazing. Long life. Amazing. Uh, and so, you know, cheers to Mr. Copelman and thank yes. you for the legacy that you left behind that we're enjoying today here at the Hop Hog Industrial Park. So speaking of past guests, I have been um, a slight stalker. Uh-oh. <laughs> of um, Murr. Yeah. <laughs> You've been talking about him a lot. You're like, I joined his virtual book club and I've been so, doing this. So funny. I literally bought the tickets to his virtual book launch uh-huh. with, and I had Braden and his friends over mm-hmm. to watch it because we love Impractical Jokers. And uh, they were doing contests throughout the whole entire show. And like, I'm like, commenting in the zoom i'm like mer sharon from lit podcast it's like me. hey hi welcome We're remember, friends, remember? Hi. Hi. <laughs> i got you buddy and they're like doing contests and then literally right when i said that um my name popped up and i won i won a gift oh what'd you win uh the shiny hiney oh i don't <laughs> know sure. i don't know what, what that, that is <laughs> i don't know what that is i remember it from their episode and i'm like okay thanks mer Thanks, oh. thanks for that. And, That's awesome. Uh, um, so then I start, you know, I obviously follow him on Instagram. And last night he went live, like he did, he does with his wife. Oh yeah, and, the, um, the thing he talked about. Where yeah, they, the, mur- they the do their murder date mystery. Nights. Box. They do their date yeah. nights. Yeah, so That's he's cool. like, he opens up his bottle of uh, Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio, Which and I'm you like, I, I got Long Island wine for you, yes. Just wait, like commenting. I'm like, oh, what is wrong no. with me? He probably you thinks like I'm like this on his date stalker. night. No. You're, he's seriously so like Mer, I'm just excited to see you June 10th that's all and uh, wow. I can't wait to to be there with you and I hope you know what I hope I hope we're the person that they pick to like get the microphone in the ear oh my god oh that'd, that'd be fun would I would not funny? know how to do that I don't you know. would totally do yeah. it. I don't know. We'll see. You could but, pull it, it off. But uh, but that's so funny that you're like obsessed with Mer now. I am. I'm obsessed. It's it's like uh, what do they call it? Like I don't know. Stalker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a groupie. Yes, mm-hmm. a groupie. That's what they used to call stalkers. They yeah. called them groupies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and now they're better, and there I am. better described as stalkers. Yeah. Um, but it is Women's History Month, and we're celebrating strong women. Mm-hmm. and um, Or just, you know, yeah, women in general. And there was something that happened recently again. And I don't mean to be like a RIP to everybody. But Madeleine Albright, the first Secretary of State, just passed away. Yeah. And uh, she was kind of controversial, you know, which I think any... 
I think any female first always is. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So much I just to be, I yeah, think. I saw and that's how you make it there. Right. right. I saw a quote today and it said to be the first you have to be the best and the bravest. Mm. I'm like, right. Mm-hmm. Um anyway, like her or not, she was the first yeah. secretary of state for the United States and uh, she left quite a legacy. She died of cancer, I think in her 80s. Wow. Um but really cool, you know, again lady and think about the women like uh, Hillary Clinton and people that have followed in her footsteps. Yeah. And um and then there was an, oh Oh my God! I was going to tell you this. Oh, well, I've been. Have you been following the whole Supreme Court judge? No. Oh, she is so awesome. By the I way, see, like, I see headlines and I'm like, oh, I got to, You know. Oh my gosh! This new uh, Supreme Court judge candidate. Mm-hmm. I can't remember her name's Katan Katanji Jack. I can't remember her name. Yeah. Um, but she, first of all, so poised. They grilled her for. Tw- they've been grilling her for days, but the first day was 12 hours. Oh my God! And let me just tell you, Sharon. She stood strong the whole time. The questions oh they're my God. asking her. Do you, ha- do you have? Oh, that they have never asked. Oh, so come first on. of all, so first of all, to be uh, a woman, mm-hmm. okay, uh, challenge check one. Secondly, to be the first African American woman. Wow, Supreme Court judge. Yep. Um, and so they're asking her about uh, critical race theory oh my and God. what she thinks about it, and she's like, um, it, "That has no bearing on me as a judge. Right. I don't." role on things like that so um and then they asked her something else redonkulous and i was just like i would flick into such rage (laughs) i don't know how but the best thing that's trending right now that i saw on my twitter today which literally made me like tear up Mm -hmm. was it was a picture of her smiling and she's doing such an amazing job and Mm -hmm. i think she is showing america Uh, how brilliant she yeah. is and how strong she is and how thoughtful she is. Um, and I, I've just been so, so impressed with her is there's a great picture of her smiling and it's her teenage daughter Aww. in a suits. And you can see her like smiling at her mom. Like, yeah, like beaming like, at her. Oh, oh my God. I was like, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> so I literally was, it's the best because it's just a candid shot. Yeah. And that's what it's about. Yep. You know, for that's us moms um, that are, not just paving the way for women, but showing a role model, you know, for our kids. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, it's just there's so much happening, and it's so important to have female leadership. Yes, and, definitely. Um, and so I'm really, really excited. Speaking of incredible African-American women who are in leadership positions, who are guiding us, um, we are very lucky to have with us today Hope Knight, who is the executive director of Empire State Development. Well, I just want to say thank you so much. We just did a whole introduction of you as a trailblazer. Um, uh, and we're so excited to have you on the tea where we spill the tea about Long Island. Uh, I'm Kristen. I'm Sharon. Nice to meet you. Good and to meet you. We are, you know, Discover Long Island is the official tourism promotion uh, organization, kind of like I Love New York is for the state. We do that for Long Island. Um, And we are so excited to work with you and your team, especially in your new role as executive director, correct? Uh, President and CEO. Oh, even better. Yes, (laughs) ma'am. President and CEO of Empire State Development, which is the uh, economic driver for the state and includes tourism and bringing Mm -hmm. business attraction and um, protecting and advocating for businesses uh, big and small, right? That's right. And um, I hope, correct me, are you, are you the first female in this role? No, I am not the first female. There was another woman who I know very well, uh, Marisa Largo, who was the first woman to run ESD. Okay. Um, first African-American Black woman, yes? That I am. <laughs> that yeah. I am. Yes, yes. Well, yes. I mean, congratulations. And we were just talking uh, before about, because we talk about celebrity and anxiety and everything, about uh, the uh, soon-to-be new Supreme Court justice as well. And mm-hmm. what an incredible job she's doing. How impressive. Have you been watching those? I have, when I've been able to catch clips of them. Well, she's amazing. She really is amazing. And did you, we were saying, did you yeah. see that what's trending right now is the picture, which I love because you're a mom, right? Absolutely. Uh, how, how many kids do you have? I just have one, a 20 year old. Tw- boy or girl? Boy. Oh, you have a 20 year old, right? My goodness. You don't yeah. even look a day over. How did you do that? How did you do that? <laughs> it's like magic. Thank you ladies so much. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I love I love the the thing that's trending right now, which is the picture of uh, the soon to be uh, Supreme Court judge and her daughter is sitting next to her, and and it's just a candid photo, and her daughter is looking at her with such pride and smiling at her mom, and I just love that picture because. I, we were just saying in roles like yours and, and the governor as the first female governor of, of New York, uh, Kathy Hochul, who was like, you know, we were when she became governor, we were like, hello, New York, really? New York of all states. This we're just now getting our first female governor. I mean, do better. Right. So. Right. Um, right. We're excited to have her. And the first thing she did was appoint other strong women into a lot of key positions like yours. But. You're not even, you're not just, you and she are not just paving the way for other working women. I mean, look at all the girls and the children and the daughters that are looking up to you. No, absolutely. Uh, And I would say that the uh, Supreme Court nominee said something yesterday that really resonated for me. She talked about um, being a mom and working hard and not necessarily being able to do everything with her children but she did her best and that's that is all we can so do. That's so awesome. We just talked about that um, last week because our, our guest last week was Terry Alessi Maselli, who is the president and CEO of the Hop Hog Industrial Park. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, yes. That's, that's amazing. And we were just saying that because as working moms is, we call it blending or is it yes. balancing? Yeah. And, and <laughs> I said, you know, when I first moved here, I was a single mom because uh, I moved to New York from Arizona six years ago. And and I had to travel and I didn't, I didn't know anyone. I didn't have a network or family or friends that I could rely on. And so I said, you know, I had like my staff members would take my daughter to her, you know, her orientation or something. Um, but I, I did, I did as much as I could. I think I, you know, with, when you're with your kids, you make the time count, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. And now I was just, we we're just talking before that now my daughter and my stepdaughter are both at uh, the Model UN as we speak. Um, oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's great. It's a great experience. Yes. Oh, it's so incredible. The experiences the kids have in New York State, right? New York State offers so incredible much, experience. not only to visitors, which yeah. we talk to, but we really speak on behalf of the residents and the education that um, choices that are here and the opportunities. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It is amazing. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cultural, academic, you know, sports related, anything that you can think of, you can get involved in. Well, tell us about you, Hope, and, and about your new role, and you're a native New Yorker. Just give us a little bit of background, if you don't mind. Sure. So I'm a native New Yorker. I was born in uh, East Harlem in Manhattan. I uh, have spent most of my time um, here in New York City, so I really am a native, uh, born and bred, and stayed here, with the exception of a few years of living in Asia. So um, really have you know spent the bulk of my time um, here in this area. But it's amazing how you can do that. And, and, and being a New Yorker, especially a Manhattanite, you know, mm-hmm. pretty much, mm-hmm. um, and going to Asia, it's great that you have a global mindset, you know, uh, that, that New Yorkers, because we are such a global touch point, we do tend to have more of a global thought process. And, and you know, it's not like that. Ever. I tell, tell, tell people oftentimes, I'm like, this, the whole rest of the world is not always like New York. <laughs> you know what I mean? no, that's right. That's this is, this is really a global city. Right. And there are a lot of places that are not. Yeah, it's true. And we're lucky because it affords us a lot of opportunity and also a lot of thought processes. So what are some of your uh, key roles or key, um, I guess, uh, objectives in your new role? So, you know, ESD is the um, Economic Development Agency for the state of New York. And we're involved in lots of activity, uh, tourism for the entire state, business development, attracting businesses, helping them expand. We support the small business community. Uh, we are involved in supporting uh, minority and women-owned business enterprises. Uh, we're involved in a number of activities supporting um, economic expansion in this state. Yeah. And I knew that you said um, minority businesses, that's kind of one of your um, key objectives, you and the governor as well, is to better diversify the leadership throughout the state organizations. Is that true? Uh, I think that that is true. And I think, you know, we want organizations, state governments, uh, businesses to be representative of the people that live here. So that is clearly what we want to see reflected back. 
Right, exactly. Uh, we're such a, state. Yeah, we're such a diverse population in, in New York State. So it's funny. I hope I've heard you on a couple of calls. You know, you, you've been making the rounds and you've been I was just talking about how much we work and I'm, I'm, I was at Hampton Bay's Academy and I was speaking at this group and this group and the chambers. And I know you do the same thing, but on like even a much more, <laughs> I think about you when I'm doing these things, because it's just so funny. Um, you, you go and you say, these are all the great things that we're doing. And then somebody will say, but you're not doing this. Mm-hmm. And you're like, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, on and one listen, thing, that one thing. We- That's right. And, and, you know, we try hard and, uh, you know, we are able to do as much as we can and we want to get to everything. (laughs) That's a good outlook on it. Yeah. You try hard and you do as much as you can. But I think in your role, um, what I've seen so far of you, you've done a great job of saying, okay, I'll take note of that. I'll, Mm -hmm. you know, circulate it. And and you really are kind of on a list for Absolutely. You know, I um, listen and I go back to the team and I'll say, you know, have we thought about this or the next time we go out there, let's think about that. Um, Because that's how you really are able to work with the people that live here and work here and create opportunity in that way. So I I really think it's important to, um, you know, interface with people all the time and get their ideas. And I think what we're what we're hearing, even just what the Supreme Court judge is going through, sometimes you just have to listen to people. Mm-hmm. They just want to be right. heard. Want to be heard, right. whether they make any true. sense at all or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you just, I just, I you have to hear them. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like you know, like you went through this a couple of weeks ago with the phone call of the, an hour and a long phone call of just being grilled. You know, and you just have to hear them out. And yeah. You're yeah. probably the same yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. But I'm always listening because because there's always a nugget mm-hmm. that I can take away. Yeah. 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 Again, great positive attitude. So, uh, you've been to Long Island. Yeah. Yes. I'm and and do you, have, do you have a favorite place that you like to visit? Well, so I'll say a couple of things. So my new favorite place is uh, UBS Arena. Oh, oh yes. Of course, ESC had a hand in. I, it's yes. an amazing facility. I think the you know, did a fantastic job. Um, you know, we're looking forward to the second phase of the project, and so very excited about that. But you know, Long Island is an incredible place. You know, some of the most outstanding beaches in the country, and um, you know, the best fishing that I've ever done was on the Sound. I mean, fishing on the sound is like nothing else. In oh, are you a fisherwoman? <laughs> kind of, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. That's, that's amazing. I have not done that. I mean, I can't even say I've done oh, that. Oh, you yet. have to. And you, 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 and you have to do it in the fall because there are all these fish trying to get out in mm-hmm. the ocean. Yeah. And there's just so many fish. So so even if you're not a fisher, you're going to catch some. Yeah. You're going to catch fish. Oh, that's so awesome. I, that's a good hit. I have to be careful, Hope, saying that it's so funny because being the tourism bureau, every now and then I'll be like, oh, I haven't done that yet. And then I'll, we'll get like hate mail like, you haven't done that <laughs> yet? Because I'm like, hey, believe it or not, I'm like not out fishing all the time right, and like, sorry. you know, right, zip right. lining. And right, 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 right. I like, actually do work. Um, but that's funny. I'll, I'm sure we'll get hate mail like, you haven't done that yet? Um, <laughs> but I think that's the beauty of not only Long Island, but New York State because I work very closely with my counterparts across the state, you know, from all the great destinations. And when we talk about them on the show too, like I just went to Whiteface Mountain for fall break or winter break. And it was so awesome. And every time we drive around the state and, and, and Long Island, there's just so much to do. It's literally one of those states. And I think people actually practice this a lot. Yeah. That you don't have to leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't have to leave. Right. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Lots of things to do here. And of course, everything, cultural, every, any kind of food, anything you would ever want to shop or buy for right here in New York City. Right. Or so. even on Long Island. Or on Long Island. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, so Hope, as an accomplished woman as you are, um, can you just give us a little bit of what inspired you to set the course of your achie- achievements? Yeah, you know, I... I think that um, it was a lot of sort of my background and the way I've kind of grown up. Uh, I grew up going to Catholic schools, uh, mostly women's institutions. 
And so, you know, my role models were uh, women that had uh, high aspirations for other women. And I really think that's the thing that really set the course for me to think about doing, you know, what I wanted to do. Yeah, it's amazing. We talk about that all the time, like women bringing other women up, you know, and, and just, mm-hmm. and just the raising the, up. The last show we did with Terry and HIALI, it, it became like a little obnoxious. We were like <laughs> lifting women up and I love you and I love you. No, you're better. You're better. It was like, no, I listened back to it and I was like, get a grip. Um, but, but it's just so fun when you meet other, you know, not only just women, but honestly just business leaders, mm-hmm. because I think somebody put the biggest responsibility of a leader is to create other leaders and having that, you know, collaborative mindset is so awesome. Um, but so, and I love hearing about your mentors. Was there anyone in particular that like stood out to you? Not, not anyone in particular. There were sort of always strong women around that provided, you know, a particular aspect of leadership that, you know, helped me grow in that way. And then do you have, do you have like a, a, a nugget of advice mm-hmm. that either was given to you or that you like to give to other women or other leaders or even your son? Like, Yeah, no, I tell women and, 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 and I mentor some men also um, that they should learn as much as they can about the thing that they're passionate about and, you know, develop relationships with other people who have the same passion. Because I think that, you know, relationships and, you know, information, knowledge are the things that can propel you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. I I was just going to ask you, like, what continues to drive you, you know, what other than, you know, the passion of what you're doing and everything like that, is there anything more to it that really continues your drive? You know, I fell into economic development, and I realized that I loved it. And so it's the thing that just gets me up every day, knowing that I have the ability to kind of influence the, uh, you know, the, the role of this economy in New York State uh, and create opportunity for people. Because for me, economic development is about creating opportunity for folks. Absolutely. And the role that you're in, Hope, is so important, especially now as we come out of this pandemic, right? Um, Because the business community has been uh, so challenged. The small businesses have been Mm -hmm. through the ringer and, you know, uh, travel and tourism, for example, you know, we were the the hardest hit industry of any industry in New York State. And so, you know, coming back from that, is, although we're expecting it, a really wonderful, busy summer, yeah. which is terrific in New York. Mm-hmm. Um, but a lot of our small businesses still struggling to kind of come back from that in tourism. And, and there's, you know, there's so much competition out there right now because a lot of different destinations and states got federal dollars, right? Mm-hmm. And so I go to conferences all the time and I see my counterparts and their states are getting like $50 million and they're, and then they're all marketing. And so every other tourism, every other commercial you watch is a tourism commercial. Um, but a lot of that, you know, doesn't trickle down to organizations right. like ours. So, um, it's interesting. One of the things we're trying to do, I think you're aware of it is create tourism improvement districts like bids, you know, bids have great uh-huh. bids. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. creating those and allowing the tourism improvement community, the tourism community that like fund themselves and, and, and kind of privatize. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of really cool, exciting things happening right now. And, and you do, you are in a position to help. So many businesses, and I don't mean just corporations and business relocation, mm-hmm. really the local bagel shop owner and the, uh, and the attraction like Adventureland or Splish Splash. It's really an exciting time to have you in this role. Yeah, no, it, it's really exciting, and, um, but, but, but a little daunting because, um, as you mentioned, you know, small businesses are devastated, right? And small businesses are the backbone of this economy. In New York State, um, small business makes up 90% of the private sector employment. And so um, just this notion of being able to help propel those so they can get back to where things were is something that we're really sort of striving to do. Uh, You know, one of the things we're focused on in New York State is that um, in 2019, we had 66 million visitors come to New York, and those people go all over, and they spent about 48 um, 
billion dollars in, in creating economic activity. So, you know, we're really focused on bringing those visitors back. We're doing um, direct marketing to them. We're going to different markets than we've been visible to before. And um, just got to get those back because those folks back, because if we get them back, then we can start to really stimulate activity all over mm-hmm. the state. Absolutely. And it's funny because we always say like Long Island is such a diverse, people don't get that it's, it, we're Queens on one side and we are, you know, the Hamptons and the vineyards on the other side. So it's funny because it's a good from and, and completely different and totally diverse and shore to shore. And as much as we're so diverse, New York state, okay. Yeah. What you have to, yeah. is even so much more diverse. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I, we were, we just launched, we did that too. We just went to a new market of Arizona and it's great for Long Island. Um, they, it, they love it because their summers are terrible. And our summers are amazing <laughs> and they have opposite right, right. segments and they love beaches and vineyards and golf. So um, we're really excited to welcome them. But it was funny because when we went there, we realized in a couple of media interviews that they don't know, they don't, people don't know anything about New York state. So change the last second, I added a slide to my presentation. that was a map of New York state. And I, <laughs> okay. said, and I said, this little dot here is Manhattan. Okay, New York City. This is Long Island. And I said, the rest of this, we like to call upstate New York. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot. And, and we just give you so much credit okay. and kudos for the job that you're doing and, and the job that we know that you're going to do and, and the impact that you're going to make for us. Because um, we're thrilled to have a, a strong female leader in this role. Somebody, again, from New York City with your background and your wealth of expertise and knowledge. Uh, guiding us forward. So thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much. Hope. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be with you. Oh, good. Okay, Sharon, she was not only impressive, but like so sweet. So sweet. I know. So I mean, nice. I really, really enjoyed that conversation. Yeah. It's just so nice to hear, like you said, other leaders and She's New York State. I yeah. mean, come on. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you. I, I was complaining about the, you know, the, the people that say one thing to me. I've been on a couple calls with her. Mm-hmm. And she'll literally go through everything that the governor is doing for New York State. And then immediately people are like, Mah. You <laughs> should be doing this. Yeah. And but she, she just handles so it with poised. grace. You yeah. know, grace and poise. Yeah. So thank you again, Hope Knight, for being with us and uh, for being a great example of a strong woman. Yeah. Um, I, I wanted to wait until after the interview to talk about wine of the week. Yeah. I figured we should probably like calm down and let <laughs> for until <laughs> until Hope Knight was gone. So let's talk about the wine of the week. So this week we are drinking Bedell Cellars First Crush mm-hmm. Red 2019. Love this it. is one of our favorites. Yeah. It's delicious. It's a beautiful label, beautiful yeah. bottle. Yeah. Uh, it's just a, a great blend. It's a great wine for a day like today because it's like cloudy, rainy, yeah. rainy and cold. But you know what's awesome this week what? that we are also enjoying that I keep on Yeah, no, I'm going stealing, after it. Stealing some little pieces yeah. of yeah. is um, On Board Long Island has provided us this beautiful charcuterie board. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I'm thinking, I'm watching the whole thing, you know, during our when we were talking earlier, I'm like, how'd she fold that? Like, I'm thinking. Oh. You know? Sh- Sharon took a bite earlier, like, of the crunchiest <laughs> cracker ever. We had to, like, break. <laughs> Everyone break. It Sharon's on. <laughs> but on, on board LI. Yes. Um, yeah, tell us about it. So it's a, bu- a boutique charcuterie company on Long Island, and it was established in the spring of 2021 by a Selden native, Rosemary Neva. So cute. Rosie was known as the charcuterie girl amongst her friends and family. They would always gush over her boards at any holiday or parties. After years of always bringing charcuterie boards to everyone, her friends and family pushed Rosie to start the business, and it's been full steam ahead ever since. Mm-hmm. Celebrate any occasion with a delicious and curated charcuterie board, and they're always on board for a great time. Oh, awesome. What is their website? Uh, Do we know? Linktree. On Instagram. Is it? Oh, it's oh. on Instagram. So um, use LIT for 10% off of your order on uh, at onboard LI on Instagram and see Rosie's tasty, tasty creations and place your order. So at onboard LI mm-hmm. and then you use LIT to save 10%. Yep. Ooh, so that's exciting, good. right? That is good. But let me tell you a little secret that I happen to know about onboard LI charcuterie mm-hmm. platters because you know I'm a char- our charcuterie. Yeah, you love like, it. Yeah. I'm insane. Uh, they sell out. Okay. Yeah. Quickly. Yes. I mean, if you want something for Mother's Day or for a holiday or for like a spa, you need to get your order in. 
You, and it's so beautiful. I kind of just wish Rosie was my friend. I know. I want to be Rosie's friend. I, I want to just come over and I'll supply the wine and you supply this <laughs> board. Make me a board. I mean, you live in Selden. That's not far from me, Rosie. We'll just be friends. I love um, it. That's, that's so cute. And I, I love it. her marketing. Like, look at this postcard with the QR code. So cute. It's adorable. And, and, the, and I follow them on Instagram. Yeah, I do too. And you know what's awesome is that I each just love board, looking at their food. Their food is beautiful. It's it, like literally little works of art. It is. And each board comes with this little um, checklist like a menu that tells you what it is. What's on it? Because I would have no, I'd be like, what is yeah, this? I it's, love it. It's pretty. This is pretty. This is pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. I don't know what this meat is, but like, it's no, so it's cute. It's it's so pretty. And so thank you so much, Rosie and Onboard LI for this. You know what? My, um, I, what I think is Rosie listened to the last show and she was like, Krista, eat you some need, food. You need to eat something. You're drinking like a bottle of wine and no, you need to get we, it together. We were she's just like, excited. She's last trying to week. help me out. Like, she's like, eat some food. Okay, girly. We, we will definitely link her in the notes to this podcast and, um, you can find her on Instagram. Yeah, uh, and I and truly, you know, whether you're going to get one of her boards or not, just follow their Instagram it's because so it's it's just something about it's looking at food. I know it just makes it feel beautifully good. done. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, so thank you guys. That's really cool. Wine of the week and charcuterie today. Um, can we talk a little Long Island life right now? Yeah, I'm I have for some Long Island it. life I'm stuff. Here for it. I've been writing down notes about some Long Island life stuff. Did you hear about uh, the twelve cars that were stolen? Yes. Did you hear the fact that each twelve cars had their key fobs inside? Yep. Yep. That? What? Yep. <laughs> I'm like I'm watching sorry. it and they're like 12 cars stolen within 48 hours. And then every one of them, every single one every of them was one. unlocked. Not a single yep. glass was broken. Nope. Because their unlocked, key fobs were in and there. And their key fobs are in the car. Mm -hmm. And this one woman's like, I had my wallet and laptop stolen. I'm like, what? what? Who? I don't even leave my wallet in my car in the garage. I know. I know. What? It's such a Long Island thing. And then everyone's like offend, horrified. Yeah. I have to lock my cars now. What is happening in the world? I'm Seriously. like, uh, welcome. Welcome. I know. But it's so funny because it's Long like, Island life. Like everyone's just like in their village. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, no, nah, knows everybody. Well, you have the ring, right? You have the oh, ring yeah, yeah, security yeah. camera. Yeah. I have one too. I think everybody, mm -hmm. a lot of people do. And, um, do you get the neighborhood alerts? Oh, it's crazy. They're hysterical. They're like, and they're like, this man came to my door and he had a clipboard. I don't, I'm like, if you see something, say something. He's probably with the electric company. <laughs> exactly. Like, he has a clipboard. He's with Verizon. He's, got like a, he's trying yeah, to get He's got a shirt with his name on it and a logo yeah. and a clipboard. Like, <laughs> it makes me laugh so hard. Or like, everybody's like, what was that noise? Yeah. And it was like an airplane. Every <laughs> single time. Yeah. There's a there's a helicopter. And helicopter like, it's, circling. It's like nope. News 12 traffic alert. That's yeah. what that is. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's hilarious. I know. Uh, Thomas did one one time. Like, he he thought it was funny. And then they the ring mate took it off. Because uh. he was like, who is this, who this trespasser? And my, it was like a deer. Like a beautiful deer. He's like, and somebody's the trespassing on my driveway. Get out. <laughs> I know, it was hilarious. That oh, ring took it that off. Ring deleted it. Yeah, they, Denied. they were like, "Don't, don't make fun of it." Um, oh okay, so that was one thing. I was like, um, "Welcome to the world. You have to actually lock, lock your, your car. car and don't leave your phone." And in for it. sure, don't leave your wallet and your laptop, even if it's locked. Because but wasn't begging. it in like a very high end? Uh... No, it was like it was around here. I think hot really. Dog, hot, okay. It was, it, yeah. No. In St. James. Oh. James. Yeah. Okay. So, but I'm like, you know. <laughs> And they're and on the ring, they're always like people are going around checking cars. Yeah, like, just all you have to do, lock your car. Yeah, exactly. Easy fix. <laughs> I've had that. I mean, obviously, I had that um, once. Somebody went into my car at night and like dumped my glove compartment. But I'm the same. Like I don't keep anything in my car. Yeah. There's nothing. I had like change. And but it was you just, shouldn't like, even do that because let's say you your garage is programmed to your car. Like just don't coming growing up in a city like Phoenix. It just would never ever occur to me. Yeah. To not lock my car. Right. Or to leave anything in the line of sight right. in your car that could be perceived as value. Yeah. yeah. It's just, I, it, and a lot of the times it's just like kids, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah not, not stealing, but yeah. going in your car and they're like, oh, this car yeah. door's open. We had our car stolen <laughs> when we were in college, literally on Christmas morning. Me too. <gasps> well, it was Seriously? Christmas Eve and Christmas then my parents morning. were shopping. We woke up on Christmas morning. So, and yeah. yeah, they found it uh, a couple weeks later. It was like Joyride. It was like doing donuts, and they just like ditched it somewhere. I'm like, cool, thanks, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry thanks Christmas. Thanks for that. And it was and it was locked. Mm -hmm. They smashed the window. And yeah, it was glass everywhere. So that's okay. horrible. Welcome. We Welcome had to the one big of those um, conversion vans growing up because I have so many siblings. Yes. So 
my parents went Christmas shopping and they and the car was stolen out of the parking lot in the mall. That's so mean. I mean, Merry Christmas. Right. That's, that's like that's some And my car- father was a cop. He's like I'm gonna find. <laughs> yeah, you don't mess with. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna find that car. No, that they messed. They they did the wrong car. Yeah. Um, travel tea. We haven't had some travel tea I in know. a while. Yeah. Um. So hmm. uh, you know, I was telling you my tea advice was travelzoo.com. Oh, I, have, I don't know if Alyssa will cut it, but go ahead. Okay. Um. So so Travel Zoo is a great place to get discounts, and mm-hmm. I get a lot of them. So right now on Travel Zoo is the Marin Hotel Ooh. in Montauk. Yeah. And let me just tell you, Montauk hotels they're like Absolutely. never, yeah. never, never on sale. And all the gurneys was. Last yeah, I know, week. I know, that? I know. And every now and then, yeah, you'll get like a gurney Star Island. And let me tell you, it's there. The sale is like relative. Like I'm doing quote unquote sale. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. it's still expensive, and it's in the midweek, and there's blackout dates. But if you want to go to Montauk, which is the Hamptons, and and the Marin, it's and beautiful. the Marin, it's beautiful. And so that's on Travel Zoo as we speak. So I want to tell people that. And one other really cool thing, and then I'll listen to yours. Um, JFK. Mm-hmm. Just uh, announced new direct flights to New Zealand, to Auckland, New Zealand. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Starting September, they're going to go three times a week um, on Air New Zealand. And let me tell you, I've I've flown on Air New Zealand before. It's like paradise. Is that the one where it has like every seat is like a bedroom? (laughs) No, no, no. Those are like the Dubai, you know, the um, Emirates or whatever. But um, yeah. But even in New Zealand, like they have the little, you know, that'll take you like an hour and a half place mm-hmm. in place. They're like this. They serve you like a charcuterie plate and, and some wine. wine. And I I'm love like, it. what? And then we get to L.A. and we had to go back to Phoenix on like, you know, back then it was like America West. And they were like hawking their credit card, you know, not even a glass of water. Get our credit <gasps> oh card. I was like, I miss Air New Zealand. Um, so my travel tea mm-hmm. is if you are on Facebook and you want to rent a house on Fire Island mm-hmm. for any any part of Fire Island. Yes, this is me. This is um, a group called Fire Island Rentals by Owner. Um, it's on Facebook, which is awesome. And every day they have different posts. Like, so it's whether it's through a realtor, mm-hmm. whether it's through the not not a realtor, sorry, the owners of the house mm-hmm. or friends of owners saying like, hey, I'm trying to uh, sublet my week oh my or whatever. It asks you got a request to join the group. Okay, but. They automatically approved me, and I loved it. I think that, like, every day there's a different post about whatever. Uh, There was one yesterday. It was a beautiful house. I think it was, like, five bedrooms, two baths in Cherry Grove. I thought of you. I (gasps) I wanted to, like, tag you in it, but you're not a part of the group, so Ah! you got to join. But I think it's just – it's Fire Island Rentals by Owner on Facebook. Okay, can you – can you ask me to be a friend or something on that? I got to – I can send it to you. I'll invite you. I need to do this. This is amazing. Um, That's great. Because it's not easy navigating those rentals. No, it's not. I need to do this. Yeah, it was uh, awesome. And I was going to say, um, you know, I've been looking for a place for Kenzie uh, to go after prom in mm-hmm. the Hamptons. Everything's booked up. And then I went to the Hampton Bays uh, Academy, and Michael Broad was, like, telling me that they're going to do a soft opening for the Canoe Place Inn in June. I'm like, mm, I'm going to email you. Um, weekend. <laughs> I was like, do you know what a lot of people go. did, no. um, even though they didn't get hotels, they, they went camping out in the Hamptons. Oh, no, 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 She won't do it? No, 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 no. no. All right. Kenzie can't. Be uh no but that i can't i'm sure I there's want, like a glamping out there i'm sure i actually it, i'm ex- so excited about this property though i'm I, I told kenzie i'm like you know if he doesn't want you to rent the room i might have to go mm-hmm. <laughs> to her Same prom night. weekend yeah <laughs> she was like okay oh she was for it <laughs> yeah, okay we have she doesn't care like I we have it. fun that's you awesome know. um but that's cool that's some good travel tea yeah, right? sharon i think that's awesome yeah. i'm literally i'm Thank you I for invited that. You. Thank you for that. Because <laughs> I I've been trying to get a house. The first summer I was here, my girlfriend Sherry mm-hmm. and I rented like a room, a room. yeah, in a house, yeah. and that's fine when it's just your single girl. But when you have the family, that's yeah. not, obviously, uh, it's not easy. So that's awesome. Um, okay, how about some celebrity? I'm trying to chew. No, I'll I'll talk. Wait, I know I just ate like literally on. This is so good. Thank so you so loud. much, Rosie. Um, in the earphones. So, so celebrity. Yeah. Uh, Ye, artist formerly known as Kanye, mm-hmm. has been banned from Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yay, uh, yay, and yeah, okay. Well, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, he was temporarily temporarily banned from Instagram for violating hate speech policy. Oh my God! I don't, don't let me forget. I have this um, Kardashian TikTok. I was going to send you <laughs> where they're they're on Hulu now, mm-hmm. and it's Kim, and she's like, you know, she's dropping some profanities herself, but she's like, you just need to do the work. Yes. Do the work. Yes. And I it's funny because it. it is somebody's face and they're like, 
me, I'm about to ask for two weeks off and a raise. And they're like, yes, uh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, right. Uh, Just do the work. And they're like, yes. Yes. Like, oh, can't. my God. So funny. I totally thought of you. Um, oh, and there was another great, great um, TikTok where the guy is lip syncing um, the, the dialogue from Office Space. Oh, my God. It's so funny, Sharon. I've got to say it, it, and you have to have you guys seen Office Space, the movie? Yeah. You have my to stapler. watch it. <laughs> Jamie and, and I used to quote that. My stapler. All the time. Wait, don't touch my stapler. Don't, don't touch my stapler. Don't touch my stapler. I mean, it was like a cult, cult yes. movie when you know, of our age. And and there's a great he's lip syncing it and you can hear Jennifer Anderson was in it. She's in the background. And he's like, I just don't think I'm gonna work anymore. <laughs> yes. And she's like, just no. And he's like, yeah. I just decided I don't. I'm not gonna go. And she's like, so you're gonna quit? He's like, no. I'm just not gonna just go gonna anymore. Go. Just not gonna <laughs> go. And she's like, well, how are you gonna pay bills? And he's like, you know, I've been thinking about that. I never really liked paying bills, so I'm not gonna do oh that. Oh my god, so. Funny. And she's like, are you gonna get another job? He's like, no. I don't think no. I want another job. <laughs> And I'm like, this is literally like, yeah. I feel like this is our life. It is our like, life. I swear. This is why God everyone lives in their is. basement. Yes. Just like, yes. yes. I'm not going to work. And Every time. I mean, uh, unbelievable. How does it happen? She's like, so you're just not going to pay your bills? He's like, nah. Nah. It's a great movie. I, I highly know, recommend Office such Space. A good Please, movie. Um, Other couple things. Speaking of binging movies, we're in Celebrity, but uh, I've been watching Inventing Anna. I'm so glad. I do love it. I love it. I knew you would. I knew you would. I, lo- I binge it every night. Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew you it. would love it. I love how she's like, why are you? Her at first her accent was st- uh, totally thrown yeah. off. And I love it now. She's like, are you pregnant or are you so, so fat? <laughs> why do you dress like that? Why do you dress like that? <laughs> why, you look broke ass. <laughs> Like, uh, I heard comments. I are know. Amazing. I, I'm like, Ooh, what? are you pregnant? Oh, you're so fat. <laughs> and the girl's like, I'm pregnant. Oh, uh, okay. Why do you not accessorize? Yeah. I'm in Why prison. Why do you look like that? I'm in prison. <laughs> and my, my, do you want to talk like her all the time? Yes, you walk around the house? I do. I, do I too. say it to my kids all the time. I'm like, Why do you look broke ass? <laughs> and they think it's hilarious. Uh, um, and there's a lot of uh, TikToks about her too. But oh it's my a, God. But what, a, what an interesting show. And Again, wow, she she almost did it. She almost made it. She That's the thing is it. she was so close to doing something that might have actually been visionary. She I just think so needed, too. She needed that extra uh, listen, I highly recommend it. Not it, just for the entertainment of the accent. I but know. It's a but great how story. much did you love like even the writer? Oh, you know, she's great. Like, and, and she all the characters, awesome. all the characters, they were the personal so amazing. Trainer, oh my god, right? And the girl that works at the hotel. Mm-hmm. Oh, I loved I it. Loved I love. I think it's a great. It's really an interesting. I'm I've not been, done yet, so no spoilers. You're not done. So no. how far are you? Eh, almost done. I don't know. I Did never they know. go on the trip yet? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I've been binge watching Tyler. Uh, who's the medium? And he was like 15. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The Hollywood. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know who he is, but I've heard of him. Wow. Like, I totally recommend this show. Really? Like, wow. I can't the, believe that this is so... Like, he was... Um, he just kind of goes around the U.S. And, and they hire... You know, people yeah. hire him to come and, and So is do he for readings. real? Yes. Okay. Sharon says he's for real. That's what I'm saying. Oh is, he, is he a fraud or is he for real? His mother. I can't stand his mother. I just want to be like, shut oh, up. Okay. But he loves... You know, like, mm-hmm. they're, they're adorable. They mm-hmm. are adorable. But, like, she's just, like, the way she talks, I just can't stand it. <laughs> But he did it, so I don't want to spoil too much. But it's it's really good. It's a documentary. Well, okay, I'll look at that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, lastly, I'll just do a little celebrity. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. Uh, Amy Schumer, mm-hmm. Long Island native. Yes, you know, love her. She's also cringy sometimes. Yeah. She'll admit it. I she, think. Yeah, I think she admits it. Um, but also amazing, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So she's got a new show on Hulu. Uh, what's it called? Something about like her. I wrote it down. Uh, she's got a new show, and it's all based here in Rockville Center. It's about her life story growing up, right? Yeah, it's like it's it's about her growing up on Long Island, and it's got Rockville Center. It's called I can tell you uh, Life and Beth, and it's oh, on yes, Hulu. Life and Beth. Um, but also, she's hosting the Oscars. Is she? They decided oh. who was hosting. Okay, she's. I guess she's one of many hosts. Wow. And I saw it, her quote, and she was like, "I don't know whose decision that was because I am going to burn some bridges. I I'm going to burn oh, them good. to the ground. That's going to be awesome. Well, you don't." put like a Long Islander no. on a show like that no. and expect it to go you know she's like I don't care yeah uh, and lastly 
Ellen's last show. Oh, I'm so sad. May 26th. I, do you know what that's going to be like? I can't. I can't. I feel like she's going to be like a pull of Tom Brady and be like, No, you she know. is not. If you've watched her show as of late, I saw her show the other day. I can't remember why. I think it was like it was a holiday or something, and I was watching Ellen, and she was like totally checked out. She's really? interviewing somebody, and she's like, anyway. I was oh. like, just Ellen, by the way, cheers to Ellen. Thank yes. you for all you did, all the oh joy you brought God. to our lives. And go live your life with Portia. Lady. Have fun. Go away from this nonsense. Where she's getting criticized mm. for not saying hi to the interns. <laughs> exactly. Please. Please. It's fine, Ellen. Come on. She. I mean, sorry. She had a bad day or right, whatever. Right. I didn't say hi to the intern uh, on the first day. Me, I just love Ellen. She's so amazing. She did a great she job. She really so is. That's it. I want to cheers to Ellen. I love Ellen. Yeah. And we've got a, a, a bunch. We just did our oh outline God. for the next shows. I'm so excited because we have a ton of stuff lined up for you hot teas. I mean, we had our planning meeting yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think it was awesome. I, we have like... So much lives Let me tell you. or live remotes, we like to call them. We've got TikToks coming what? up. Oh, my God. We've got uh, – we just did our giveaway for the Murr stuff. Yes. We're going to have more giveaways yes. coming up. We have Love is Blind next week with Brie. <gasps> I know. Oh, my God. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Wait, gonna what go did she call Com- No, no she called it compatibility. Yes. Uh, compatibility. Love it. Um, and then based on how that goes, we might have Chris on. We'll see. He's like, I don't know. So um, Chris is going to come on. Yeah. I'm and we have you. Macari Vineyards for the, our wine lovers that is going to be on Long Island TV as our next episode. Oh, yes. Yeah. And we have some other uh, celebs, local celebs and big names wait. coming up I on the show. Wait. So we'll see you next week. Keep tuning in. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.